I'm recording this intro after doing the video. Mmm, I'm not okay. We're gonna skip the whole normal intro I do, the whole subscribe to my Patreon because you get full uncut reactions there. We're gonna skip all that. This is by far the saddest reaction and morning I think I've ever had in my life. Why I chose to do this at five in the morning, I don't know, but I think I'm ready for the day to be over. Enjoy. Y'all have been hyping up this episode as if it's the second coming of Christ. Oh, that's brutal, that picture. Oh, shit. Look, look at that shot. Look at that. The way he's holding the jaw tight and like he's a, like he's a doll. Reiner, he's all beat up and like like he ran through a cheese grater not to mention look at them cheeks Ooh! wow dude the animation on reiner there were times when it was awful you look at it now oh man i feel like he's going easy on reiner like he doesn't want to kill him dude what the fuck man this is Brutal shit, right? It is dark. I just said that. It's like he doesn't want to kill Reiner. Wow. Aaron is not Aaron anymore. Ooh, that was a nice little detail. The way the iris, like it shut as if it deactivated the Titan. Look at that. Like he's out now. I've never seen that. What does this episode have in store for me, man? Jesus Christ, I can't believe I'm seeing a fucking air balloon, uh, air balloon, uh, a blimp right now. I feel so bad for this city, even though they're the enemy, but who really is the enemy? Gabby, what are you doing? <sighs> Gabby, I love you, but you got to go back to playing with the dolls. This ain't going to happen. Assassin's bullet. Yo, yo. It is something else. To see the progression of how beautiful this animation gets throughout the seasons. Like, you compare this to the first episode. Reiner's Armored Titan in the first season to now. You look at the shading. They they went all out, man. This is getting insane. I can't believe what I'm looking at right now. Eren's like dead inside, just looking at Armin. Now we, we have them all together for the first time since season three. You compare these three now to when they were kids, they know what they just did. And it's silent. The way he says that, like Eren's like the- Oh, that's right. They haven't seen each other in a long time. He's been sending those letters, but he's been AWOL a bit. Like, he's not been following up to the code. Like, this isn't entirely part of their plan. So he's mad at Eren. Like, he's going against the captain's orders. But it's so different now. Like, I feel like Eren believes he's above Levi. And that is not good. This is a different Eren. Oh man. Oh my god. I can't believe it, man. Wait, did they capture Zeke? I just realized Levi's alive. See, I forget things because there's so much going on. Levi's alive. He had a grenade. Was that like a little distraction to bring Zeke? Oh my god, we're gonna Zeke and Eren together? This guy's dead. I don't even know who he is. Commanda Labo. Why are they doing shots like this? Like, this makes me nervous when they do things like this. Alright, good. He's on the airship. Is that Bloke? Dead, bro. It's so weird seeing these characters all grown up. This is like the Rugrats when they went to all grown up. But they all have the same hairstyles and clothes still. But still, they just look like, damn, they look like daddies now. Now I could definitely compliment them. They better not be like 14. They look like they're in their good 20s now. Look at Floak taking charge. Okay. A little Irwin blood in him now. Sasha, like, it's not the sweet Sasha anymore. Look at her. She's like a full soldier now. They're changed. All of them. Look at that look on her face, man. Don't say things like that, Connie. I feel so bad for Sasha. Look. 
mm, man, oh shit. Little shots like this just, just really connect with me because you look at her in the first season with her bread, like she's a child. She doesn't know everything. You know, she's very innocent. But now you see her and the innocence is gone and it's, it's so sad, man. It's so sad. Like a shot like this, she's changed. Everyone is different now. Everybody, Armin, Mikasa, Sasha, Connie, John, Aaron. Even Levi's still Levi, but still, it's like they're all Levi now, but they still have their little things about them. Like a, their innocence is tiny. <laughs> Why grow a beard if you can't eat it? See, their little, little pieces of them are still there. I don't know what Gabby expects to do. Is she gonna fly? Is she the, the, the bird titan? I swear to God, she starts flying. This is so sad. I don't know. I, dude, this is the most emotional like show I've ever watched in my life, man. I feel bad for every character. This is literally Eren and Armin. They saw their friends die right in front of them. That's... Mm. I'm an Eldian, but they told me to turn back because it's dangerous. Telling an Eldian that, knowing how discriminatory they are. I don't know what happened. This show... The heart was ripped out of it. It's just pain now. Zeke ain't dead. <laughs> Let me tell you that. We still gotta see... Wow, the voice actor. Hmm. Yo! Oh my god. Like, Falco heard what Eren was saying. And now he's, like, spreading that word. Like, he's telling Gabby, listen, this wasn't uh, an attack. This was revenge. This is revenge from the, the devils that that this happened to first. They're just, they're just returning that. And nobody really knows that. Nobody knows. I mean, they know, but they don't know the full image. They don't know the full story. So Falco is, is more mature in a sense. He realized more, but... Gabby just saw her friends get annihilated by fucking rocks. Like the Mount Rushmore just fell on Zopia. Yeah, good. I didn't care about those kids anymore. Fucking kill them. But still, like, wow. These kids are now in the Eren mindset. Like, they just... Now, it, it's, a, it's a repeating cycle. It's a never-ending cycle of revenge. They're all just island devils. That's the quote of the show right there. They're going through so much in their, in their minds. They don't know how to act. Damn, can this blimp fucking move already, man? Whoa! Why am I cheering? I don't want her to get up there, but still, that shit. Oh my god. Bro, is this a little girl? She just killed the fucking leader. Yo, the most badass kid. This is like a Dex level Eren right here. This is a grandma stuck in a kid's body. She she just talks like like she's been through it all and she deserves the founding titan. Imagine a kid telling you that you were one of the good ones. Like who the fuck are you to tell me that? No! Both of them are up there! What are they gonna do on this ship? Sasa. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? 
こいつらロボフさんの I, I, I don't even know what to say right now What the fuck? Oh my god この殺し合いが終わるのかよ She's she can't be dead I'm sorry man I don't give a fuck about this how do I even watch this after that? Who the fuck is that? That's not Armin? Well, wait, what? What's going on this episode? Oh. She is just fueled off rage right now. I don't even, like, I don't even hate her. Like, she just shot Sasha. I don't even know if Sasha's dead yet, but I, I can't even hate Gabby because she is just in this state of mind where, like, everyone's the enemy right now. She just saw her best friends murdered in front of her. Her nation is being slaughtered in front of her. It's like you can't blame her no matter how much you love a character and if they die. And I fucking love Sasha, but it's like... Y'all said I was going to hate Gabby, but I, I don't. I still don't. It's like, you got to put yourself in her shoes right now. You know how powerful you have to be? How powerful John is right now? What the fuck? What? 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 Aaron doesn't even care. Man, what the fuck, Aaron? Are they working together? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? ンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンンン
that your body can't respond to it. Like you, your emotions can't respond to it. You're just in complete shock. That's why they say like sometimes when grief happens, like you see something crazy happen, whether it's like a parent die or something. And sometimes people laugh. It's not because they're laughing that they're having a good time. It's just they don't know how to respond to it. Their body is just in complete shock. And that's how I feel and how Aaron just felt. Like what were her last words? Meet. And the way he laughs, he wasn't, I don't think he was laughing like, I'm glad she's dead. But he was just like, what the, f like, I don't know how to react to this. As heartless and soulless as he's become, a part of him was still in there and that reacted to that, that just conflicted with how he's feeling right now. So much has happened this episode. It was just one straight emotion. It was just one straight, like, it was just darkness. Zeke is working with them. That shocked me, but... Connie and and Gabby flying up there and killing Sasha and I I you would expect me to hate Gabby but I don't it's like I feel so bad for her and I feel like this is gonna be something she has to deal with now she's gonna come to the truth and realize that she just killed someone that's just in where was in her position she's just following orders and she's gonna like regret this and now she's gonna be living with this it, it's so much to think about because you're going to be growing with these characters now. She's just a kid. I can't hate her for what she just did. I love Sasha. Like, not having her on the show now is going gonna, gonna to kill me. And as, the more time as I go on, I'm going to fucking bawl my eyes out now after processing all of this. But I still love Gabby. Falco I love. It's just going to be so interesting to see how they deal with this when she learns the truth. Now she sees Zeke working with Eren. Like, how is she going to process this? The I feel like everybody's going to somehow come together. But I'm looking at Aaron a different way now. Like, I don't even know if I'm on his side entirely. Which is weird. Like, is he the main character of the show? Yeah, he is. But at the same time, it's like the protagonist becomes the antagonist somehow. It's so, it's, I've never seen something like this. Where, where I mean, you've seen good guys turn bad, but this is like a main character that we felt with the entire time, and then he just completely changes between season three and four. Something happens. We got to see what happens because something changes in his mind, where he's just like a robot now. He's just following orders, or he's just following an ideology that he has. Maybe it's Z corrupting him. Maybe it's the founding titan. Something within him, in him, in him that's corrupting him. This is insanity. Oh man, and not to mention like the animation just gets better and better. The whole Sasha thing, like seeing how how innocent they used to be and now how they are now. But little sides of each character are still there are inside of them. It just comes out every now and then. Like John, his jokes, but then him not wanting to kill Gabby and Falco. Because he's like, when does the killing end? That good side of him within him is still there. He's not completely heartless. I feel like Eren is lost. Eren's like lost right now. I don't know how to feel. How do you guys feel when you were up to this? I'm sure you've seen so much more by now. But how'd you feel during this time? Like, were you still on Team Eren? Did you have these questions? I don't know, but we're going to see it all unfold. And I'm sure this is going to hit me way harder when I turn this camera off. Because now that I'm realizing all of this and processing all of this, this is going to be insane to think about. This show has the bar and it just continuously raises that bar. It's just like an unlimited level that they keep going higher and higher. You thought the level was here. This is like the normal level. This is how it's as great as people can go. But this show just fucking climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs it's ridiculous but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video fuck if you want the full reaction go on my patreon three dollars a month yeah that's it i'm sorry for not making so many jokes this episode i just i couldn't bring it to myself i have so many questions